I've been in foster care for about 18 years. So I think I got into foster care when I was like two or three. Um, so pretty much a baby. Didn't really know what was going on. I'm 20 and I'll be turning 21 next month. I'm Michael, I'm 20, and I'm turning 21 May 13th, 2016. I won't have a social work anymore. I won't get, like, I won't get paid for taking care of myself anymore. I won't, all the resources that I had, I won't have those resources anymore. They just kind of shut down. I won't have the Y anymore. I won't have an aisle worker. Since I turned 21, it's all gone. So if they've got the papers on, does that mean they're already spoken for? Yes. Okay. Here's what you want to do. What do I want to do? Imagine our house and just think about the stuff that you use. So like, you're going to need cups and mugs and the, the silverware and, you know, when you want to open up a can, you got to have a can opener. And like, if you imagine going around the house and just things that are there, that's what what you want to look for and be like, yep, that, yep, that. I've actually never opened up a can in your house. Really? Yeah. Well, how um, do we start, like? I, I'm overwhelmed. Yeah. We have a question. So in terms of with, like, the small items, does he just start pointing at things yeah. and going that, that, and we tape a little and paper to it? And you put it in a box. I'll get you a box. OK. And then you label the box. Hey, look at the salt and pepper. That's you awesome. Exactly what I you're want asking. it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, grab, grab them, right? What do you see? That's girly. Uh, I was going to say, it I don't know if it's manly enough for you. Well, it has hearts on it and so flowers. You're, you're a compassionate person. I think the heart is appropriate. <laughs> Too many flowers. OK. Yeah, I'm going to go home, turn on some TV, and do a couple applications. But, uh, okay. Oh, yeah. How are you doing today? I'm good. Shopping for yourself? Um, yeah. Awesome. Any questions? Um, well, I specifically came here to get school supplies. School supplies, yeah. yeah. Definitely. Do you want to shop for the rest of the stuff as well, or? Um, I mean, I can, but I can. Totally up to you. Okay, well, yeah, I can get school supplies. <laughs> yeah, I will yeah. look for that stuff in the back, and I'll come find you in the store when we've got it. OK. I've got some options for you. OK. Do you want to tell me if you like any of these? Got a few different backpacks. Okay. Bright colors. Oh, I like this one. Papers. I will take like this one. one. Yeah. Just tell her if there's anything else we can help you out with. Okay. Okay. Thanks. I've been in foster care for my whole life. My mom was a drug abuser when I was born, and so initially that's how CPS got involved into, I guess, our lives, me and my mom's lives, and they had took me away as soon as I was born. for like working out. You know. Every time I look at Mikhail, I see Gladys because uh, Mikhail is a spitting image of, I mean, feature-wise, as a mom. When she got into foster care, I kind of lost track. I didn't even know where she had gone from. So today I had my first day of class and I think I was so overwhelmed with being in a classroom setting. It was like scary. <laughs> and there's so many kids and, um, and I didn't think this was gonna happen. And I just sat there like 
having lots of anxiety. It's really starting to all dawn on me because I've been doing these two other things, like I've been doing my job and I've been doing apartment searching. And it's been, I mean, it's been pretty chill. It hasn't really been like overwhelming, I guess. But as we throw this other part into it, like school every day at eight, and then I'm gonna be tired, like trying to go to work. It's like, I think it's actually dawning on me. And then now I kind of feel like, dang, why do I have to do all this? Because like, I have friends and they're not doing anything. They're, I mean, they're like going to school, but that's it. Like they're going to school and their parents know like that's enough. You know what I mean? We're not gonna ask you to do anything else. So, yeah. I think just my learning style as well is just like, it's not necessarily in a classroom with 30 other kids, you know? So yeah, I think I was super overwhelmed in high school. I think actually I acted out because of that. And with my foster parent at the time, and I think she didn't really understand it and I didn't either. I thought, you would, I thought you'd be all excited for a flat screen. Would you see a fast screen? <laughs> yeah. I'm excited for a TV. Huh? Come on now. We're going to Share House today for our second appointment. Hopefully we get couches and everything I need because the first time we didn't really get all the stuff that we needed to. Keep in mind, where are we going to put this in our tiny little house? Oh, yeah. Joe. He's really helpful and, you know, he's there when you need him. It's just another person on your side. I don't really have a lot of those because it's kind of hard to trust people and know that they're going to be there. So turning 21 is, right now I'm not feeling anxious or funny about it or nervous or anything like that. Although other people are nervous for me, so I, that kind of makes me like, maybe I should be nervous. Some of my biggest battles I've already faced in life, so um, I'm kind of like, I'm ready for whatever life throws my way. I'm considering looking for another job just because I'm like juggling three different cities. Like I live in one city, I work in another city, I go to school in another city. So that's a barrier to me at this point. Apartment search, I've been searching for apartments, and I haven't had any luck. Can I help you? Hi, I just wanted to know if you guys had any one-bedroom apartments available. I do. You do? Okay. And do you guys accept Section 8 housing or Seattle vouchers? Uh, yeah, they're Seattle, not King County, correct? Right, yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Look at your rental history, your background check, and, um, your credit. Okay, so I'm 20, so I don't really have that much rental history. Um, okay. I'm a full-time student and I work, so... Okay, so the snag is going to be that you're a full-time student. Because we are a tax credit property, you would disqualify from living here. Because, because I'm a full-time student. The thing with us is because tax credit, you would get, you get tax breaks for being a student along with you would be eligible with, um, for financial aid. The government just looks upon it as double dipping, so that's why ours is that way. It could be different for someone else, but that's the reason why we cannot rent to full time students. Okay. Yeah, so it's just a little bit different for us. Okay. So then it would be pointless to do an application? Yeah, unfortunately. All right, thank you. Okay. Uh-huh, bye. bye. Basically, they were saying I'm not needy. It's just kind of like with the food stamps thing. Like if you're a full-time student, you can't get food stamps anymore. So it's like the people that are aspiring to be something or that are actually trying to get themselves together, they're not trying to help those people. But if I was just sitting doing nothing, I could get food stamps. I could get into this apartment. I could, you know what I mean? It's not the fact, I don't even think they would stress if I had the voucher if I didn't have a job. It would be fine. But it's the fact that I'm going to school. I don't know why the school thing causes the issue.